Welcome back to The Band Guide, where we use GarageBand to create professional sounding music. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today is the second video in the Ultimate GarageBand Beginner's Guide. This video series is going to walk you through everything you need to know from the very first time you open up GarageBand, which is what we're covering today, until you've finished, exported, and mastered your final version of your song. In fact, throughout the series, we're also going to be recording a short song together, going through the mixing and mastering process so you can see it all happening and understand what you should be doing as you're going through that process with your music. But beyond just this actual video series, I want to give you something even more. I've put together a completely free Ultimate GarageBand guide that walks through everything that we're covering in the series that you can quickly revisit anytime you need to. It's a PDF from the link in the description below. You can reference it anytime. It also walks through everything from the first time you open up GarageBand until you have mastered your song. It covers the mixing process, the recording process, tools you might need, all that good stuff. So be sure to grab it for free from the link in the description below. And let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is all about the first time you open up GarageBand. And the first time you open up GarageBand, you're likely going to see this screen right here, this choose a project menu. Now, 90% of the time, I'm going to say that empty project, maybe even 99% of the time is going to be what you want. If you're creating your own music, this is going to be for you. But let's briefly look at what else we have on this screen. We also have a recent option. This is going to be anything that you've recently worked on. We have learn to play and we have a lesson store. So Apple actually has some lessons that you can buy. There's also great free lessons online so check those out as well of course not necessarily from apple but just if you're looking to learn guitar youtube is full of stuff i should know i'm on youtube <laughs> and the last option here is project templates now this is really cool because this is a way to quickly explore the different sounds that they have in GarageBand. it is not ideal usually for creating a song necessarily but it can be a great way to get familiar with what all there is in here so let's start by just looking at this keyboard collection I'll open up that, throw my headphones on here. So this keyboard collection is by no means a complete overview of every keyboard they have in GarageBand, but it gives you a pretty good idea of the range of sounds that you can create inside GarageBand. So we're gonna open up our musical typing. If you hit Command K, that opens up for you. And you can just play notes on here and hear these different keyboard sounds, right? So that's the classic electric piano. We have a grand piano. Right? We have an organ. This is wild. Kind of crazy. And you can actually pull out, if you look down here, you can actually pull out these different sliders and really affect this sound. Right? Isn't that cool? Crazy. We have a classic D6. I believe this is a clav. That was a nasty chord there for a second. Uh, we have a synth lead. Very different sound, right? We have kind of a vocal pad thing. Very cool, a little ominous. We have a moon bass. Very cool. Droplets, this is another synth. Arpeggiating thing. I think I hear like water in there. Yeah. And we have this groove pulse. Beat thing. So obviously that's not everything they have in here. If you look through under these synth layers, we have all these different options here. Under synth chords, we have all these different options. So there's way more keyboards than this, but this is a good way to just kind of get familiar with like the range of things that are in GarageBand. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this uh, amp designer that we have here, amp collection. So this is just a collection of the different guitar amp sounds. Again, is not all of them, but it gives you a little bit of an idea. Now, heads up, I am not a guitarist, but I play a little bit guitar, so we can hear these sounds at least together. The first thing you'll need to do here is make sure that your input is set right, and then you'll also need to turn on input monitoring, which you can turn on right here or up here as well. And then you should be able to hear your guitar. Right, I'm peeking a little bit there. So let me turn my input down just a little bit. Cool, and then we have all these different sounds here. So this is kind of like a Fender sound. We have this other Fender sound that's kind of a surf style. This is wild. Crazy, very cool sounds. And the range here is wild. Let's listen to this Royal Rock. This is like a, reminds me of like, I played in a pop punk band. 
has that sound. Octaves. Very Vox sounding. Cool. Uh, we have this Brit phaser. This thing's kind of cool sounding. Very cool. I'm guessing this one's going to be real heavy. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. Woo! That is noisy. You might want to bring up the noise gate here. That's going to help cut it out when your guitar isn't playing. If I have this down, super noisy. So that noise gate can help. Very cool. And then we have this wide wah sound. Very effective, very, very different sound. So again, we have a huge range of sounds here. This is by no means the complete collection and you can actually get in here if I open up the amp here. You can get up in and really customize these sounds, go crazy with it, really change out every one of these elements here and totally customize your sound. You also have a full pedal board in here. Very, very cool, kind of wild what all you have as options inside GarageBand. Okay, let's look at the main option that I think you're gonna use way more often, which is this new project option. So this is where you can build a project from scratch. So if you want to have drums and bass and guitar and an organ, you can build them all around this session and you have complete customization. It doesn't have a bunch of things you don't necessarily need. So let's just start with the drummer track, for example. This is gonna pre-populate a drummer track here, and then we can listen to that. You can go through and find the drummer that works for you and the drum sound that works for you, right? And then if you wanna add a guitar amp, you can just go right here and add a guitar amp. And then you automatically have a guitar amp sound here that we can use. And you can play with the different tones. You can, as I said, also pull up the amp itself and mess with the amp here and customize this amp. Now we're gonna go into all this more specifically in upcoming videos. So you'll understand where all these little pieces are. What I wanna show you here is just kind of a brief overview and show you that this is probably gonna be your main option. So the first time you open up GarageBand, going into this new project that's a blank project is gonna be what will allow you to customize and create everything that you need for your session. And then we can add in these different tracks just as this little plus button up here. So if you wanna record a vocal mic, you can create that. If you wanna add in an organ, you can go over here to software instrument, hit create, and then find your organ sound over here on the left, or orchestral. If you wanna add, yeah, this pipe organ, how about a flute organ? This is gonna sound interesting, I bet. Very cool, right? So you can customize this to be whatever you want it to be. Now, I know it can get a little intimidating when you see all this coming in, but don't worry, we're gonna break it down step by step, week by week, video by video as we go. So tomorrow, we're actually just gonna focus on these two different tracks here that we have for audio. This is gonna be how you record vocals or acoustic guitar or electric guitar or electric bass. Anything out in the real world is gonna be done with these two tracks here. And we're gonna get into that a little bit tomorrow. Before you go, be sure to grab that Ultimate Garage Band Guide from the link in the description below. It's really gonna help you out. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. One